Okay, I'm Destiny Rider. This is my third video. This is the first of what I like to call my What the Hell Bandai series. Today I'm going to be focusing on the quality of what we've been buying over the last couple of years by comparing, I guess, two of the signatures of the franchise, the original Tyrannosaurus Zord. On my left here we have the original from the 1990s, in this case the black and gold version and the 2010 reissue. Now, just looking at Blackie over here, he just seems to be more stable, more solid. You know, you throw this at somebody, it's probably going to hurt. Whereas, Red over here, just, you know, screams of, we want your money more than we want you to be happy. I mean, I've shot this video about four times already, every time the batteries they run out, the memory card has gotten empty and I've had to start over again, but I kind of have this problem of him not wanting to stand up properly. <laughs> now, I mean, quality problems can go as simple. I mean, I have the three out of the four M RPM Zords from 2009. I'm only missing the Skyrev set. And within about two months of my well, Mayish purchase of May the May 2009 purchase of my high octane Megazord, the glue holding the stickers for the red and blue Zord's eyes started to degrade and they started to fall off. This Tyrannosaurus has been with me since about 1994, 1995, somewhere in that range, I bought it, you know, later on. Normally, I was with a ball for me. I was like six when it came. But, I saw it at a toy show, and it was either that or the red, red and normal one, and I just thought, you know, ooh, shiny. I went with this one. And, the stickers have been on him for about 15, 16 years now. And as you can see, they're still pretty much there. Chest, legs, back. You know, the only ones that even are peeling are on the knee, and they only just started to peel recently. I mean, I didn't even bother putting the stickers on with this one because I figured in a couple months they'd be falling off. I mean, they'd probably be, if I put them on when I bought it, they'd probably be falling off already. Now, I mean, Power Rangers has just as much potential as a source of income as Sentai, because, well, actually there's even more of a potential because Power Rangers has a larger potential audience since the United States and the English-speaking world where Power Ranger runs you know, is a slightly larger population between, you know, Australia, America, England and Canada, there are about mm, 500 million people who speak English versus Japan's tiny population. There is so much potential to make money for Bandai and Toei and everybody off of these things. Why is it that we have to live with Second rate, I mean, these are like self made knockoffs. They do half of what they do in Japan and they charge just, just as much. I mean, why can't these turn into symbols? Why is it that, you know, this doesn't go on the way it's supposed to? Why is not all these things spinning? Why aren't the gears moving the right way? Why is it that I can just look at this and know it's not going to work the same way when you make it into the bird form? Whatever they call it. I mean, we've been faithful to the show. We've been watching it left and right. We've been watching it like nuts, <laughs> I guess you could say. And the only ones that have really been doing anything to harm it 
are the networks. I mean, Disney letting Bruce Klesch anywhere near the show was about as much of a mistake as letting that comedian onto Monday Night Football. I mean, it's just sad to sit here, look at this, you know, this is what we're going to be getting from now on. What did we ever do to deserve this? We're just as loyal to the show. I mean, come on. It's simple. Just keep making this. You know, make, make the molds. They're not going to fall apart after a couple, about a year. You just keep going. You can probably punch them all out at once and just label half the boxes for Power Rangers. Leave the boxes blank and label them when Saban comes up with the names. We ought to get me started on the names for crying out loud. They stupid SPD, the, the Ultima Zord or something like that for the SWAT wingers. Are they even paying attention? I mean, they know they make. I know both sides made mistakes with especially the whole. Uh, in space bit where they thought it was going to be, you know, Star Trek with superheroes and ended up with, uh, something more along the lines of digital toys and everything, and they just, I know there's mistakes, but can proper communication get around that, you know, that's what they usually teach you people in school this day, these days. Why is it I'm stuck with this, I mean, is it that hard? Is it?